You look through, and we'll just use Israel's history, look through Israel's history. Hmm. God allowed bad kings because that was their judgment. Oh, you want to you wanna forget about me? You want to know have nothing to do with me? Let me give you a, a king or a ruler from somewhere else to show you what not having me in the picture looks like. Well, I wonder if that equates to the American history when we've had terrible presidents. If it equates to the godliness of the people, the, the Christians, real Christians standing up and going, man, you look good, you talk good, you sound good. We're going to vote you. But they had no, no political savvy to do good. Or you look at it and like, closer to home, just because we don't like that, we're going to vote this, even though we don't think that's going to do that's good either. Right. Just because we don't like that, it's, it's a vote against, not a vote for. Yeah. And the terrible tragedy that's happened, you know, of the way things are going, it's crazy. So, what happened to na the nation of Israel if enough Jewish believers never stood up and said, we need your help, Lord? <laughs> you know, I, I know. Granddad might not have got it, you know. Granddad might have forgot about you. Uh, he did tell me a couple things about you. And one thing he told me about you when he was a little boy and bad things were going on, his daddy repented and said, please save us. So I'm going to say, please save us. And God would send in a godly leader. Didn't need to be the nation of Israel. Right. You remember the queen mother. I'm going to go back to Daniel. I don't know yeah. why I'm focused on yeah. that book. But... <laughs> You know, the queen mother with Belshazzar, when there's that handwriting on the wall and Belshazzar's, yeah. I think it says his knees were shaking or something. He was so yeah. scared. And, and and nobody has an idea. Apparently, everybody is just sitting there. You know, the, the great powers of the great kingdom are, are just sitting there being scared. And the queen mother says, go get Daniel. Your yeah. father knew. Your father yeah. knew. Yeah. Go get him. Yeah. That there, there, There's somebody who does remember you, yeah. you guys haven't been doing this mm -hmm. there there is you know when you see Anna in New Testament yeah. and she goes and finds you know she had her little network she had her little Facebook friends yeah. who were waiting you know who were looking for the Messiah yeah. who were waiting yeah. for the kingdom and maybe everybody else is just complaining about the price of bread under the Roman Empire right. but she had her friends who she knew who to talk to. Yeah. She knew who actually was still looking, who hadn't given up hope. Yeah. Well you look at Elijah. Yeah, well, I'm sure he, I'm sure he did it more than once. But he he goes, I'm the only one left. He did do it. More he he did do it twice. Scott asked yeah. him again he asked him a second time and he did the same thing, I'm the only one left. And then which which is interesting, God said, well, no, you're not. I've yeah. got 7,000 having bowed the knee. Yeah. They don't exactly have a big billboard out on Highway right. 1 right. just so you can so you can yeah. find them. I mean, there's good reason for yeah. that. But I've got 7,000 that haven't bowed the knee. And then he says, effectively, he says, I'm going to grant your request, though, to take you on home. Yeah. You're not going to die in the usual sense. Yeah. But I'm going to grant your request. Here, go put this king here. Go anoint a king, and it was it like Aram? It, it, go yeah, go anoint really like right. one of the like Haziel or somebody yeah. as a, as a foreign king, and it's like, why? I don't even know why he's anointing a foreign king, but okay, right. why right. not? And and then go anoint Elisha to be in your place. Yeah, and it's like so. I'm you, you, your request is going to get granted. Just you know, do do these you last couple these of things, things. Yep. and then your request is is going to get granted. Yep. And you wonder if Elijah didn't say, "Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute." You got seven thousand, then then uh, I changed my mind. Yeah, none of that. You're yeah. you're going home. <laughs> he was going home, and so no matter how bad things get, even we can use America, even as bad as some of the things are in America, there is a remnant of people. That if they stand up and say, God, what do you need me to do? What are the good works? To be ready and willing to do good. Now, 
What, what can I join with all the chaos around to accomplish something good for you? How can I join with them? In a, in a deeper sense, and it doesn't say it here, but it says in other scripture, Ivan, you've got something to do whether you join with the wicked or not. I'm calling you to do good works. What is your calling? What is your purpose? What is your mission? What is the group of believers in 